Hello guys, today we'll be discussing how to construct a spanner head using the principle of tangency. On my left over here is the diagram, so let's start. Now, the first thing we we'll do is that we draw a center line, a vertical center line first. So indicate it with the center line. over here now we've done that this next thing we'll do is that we'll choose a point a given point of our choice let me move up and then i'll choose this point now indicate a center line there just a little one and then i'll call this point over here point zero now they said we should move 30 degree to our left so all i need to do from my point zero i'll place my set square this way my 60 degree set square and then i'll project the line upward now the major reason i use 60 degree is that this is 30 degree to our left now this is 30 degree this is 60 degree which is what 90 so just pick only 30 degree or you can choose to use your compass place your compass over here and then you pick uh, your protractor you then you pick 30 degree then the next thing we'll do is that they said they need a perpendicular line such that this angle 30 degree will be lying on it perpendicularly at an angle of 90 if you look at it very well so what you need to do still using my set square or place it this way now you can see i'll place it this way perfectly then make sure you don't miss the midpoint then I'll indicate it by center line this way. Now, I've succeeded in doing that. This is 30 degree. So, I've succeeded in doing that. So, the next thing is that now the, if we check at the mouth of the spanner, we have 40 millimeter. So, all what I need to do, I'll take my rule. So, my set is already scaled. So I will just use my set square since it's scaled. Okay. So I'll pick 20 millimeter to my left, 20 millimeter to my right, which make it 40 millimeter. So the next thing is that I'll project my lines. This way. And then I'll project the second line. The second from this point, I'll project my second line this way. Now you see that we are done with this. So let me call this place here A1, line A1, line A2. So now this is where we start. It says that from our diagram, there's a radius here which is 23 millimeter touching. Our lines so we'll just take 23 millimeter from our rule this way then I'll place it at point zero and then I'll draw an arc to touch my perpendicular lines This way now from my diagram you observe that they said 13 millimeter from this line a to a to 13 millimeter upward so all I need to do I'll take my rule 
and I'll pick 13 millimeter I'll put the points come here also I'll pick 13 millimeter then I also put my points now I'll then join my points this way to this line so it will be an outline this way then also I'll do similar stuff to my right this way now I've succeeded in getting this now you observe from my diagram they said there's a radius here at 23 uh, millimeter which I've drew here you get it now when cycles touch each other internally you subtract so here I'm having 30 millimeter touching my circle my bigger circle here which is 53 millimeter so I'll minus 30 from 53 which will give me what 23 millimeter so from point zero I open my 23 millimeter let me pick it first from point zero this 23 millimeter right now from point zero I open to my 23 millimeter which is this which I've already drew before so all I need to do is that now this radius 30 here is touching this point here so all I need to do I'll take from my meter rule I'll measure 30 millimeter this way so I'll place it at this point over here and then I'll scribe an arc at this place here similarly I'll do same thing over here then I'll scribe my arc this way so now you see that I'm left with these two points now it said is 30 millimeter so this is thin 30 no changes so at this point here compass see it's touching this point over here so I'll draw this so at this point also I'll draw my arc from this point So I've drawn, you've seen it. So now they said you this bigger cycle over here is radius at 53 millimeter from point zero. So I'll take my rule, I'll measure 53 millimeter. Now I'll place it at point zero. Then you see we've gotten that make our work neat so erase this portion a little right now we've succeeded in getting the upper path now we'll just come this way to any point of your choice let me use this point no let me use this spot now to any point of my choice I'll draw a horizontal line this way now okay we've drawn a horizontal line so from our diagram we find out that this is 34 millimeter 
So we divide 34 by 2, which will give me 17. So I'll measure 17 millimeter to my left. Then 17 millimeter to my right. Now, at this point here and here, I'll project the point vertically to hit the circumference of my circle, the construction line. I'll do the same here to hit the circumference of my circle this way. Now, the next thing we will do is that this radius here, touching this arc with this is what? Is 20 millimeter. So we know that it touches this small circle and we know that the radius of this circle here is 30 millimeter. You can see it. The radius of this circle is 30 millimeter. So 30 plus uh, 20, we have 50 millimeter. So we pick 50 millimeter from our rule. Pick 50 millimeter. So we place it at points. You can see, let me call this point 0, 01, point 0, 02. Now place it at point zero one because this was where our point intersected. Then we'll scribe an arc this way. Now we're having a radius of 20 millimeter. So we'll pick 20 millimeter over here this way. This 20 millimeter, they will come to the down part here, then we pick 20 millimeter. We we'll project this point upward the construction line. Find out that it intersected this point this way, this place here. So still on 20 millimeter a radius here the arc here is 20 millimeter so we'll place it at this point here and I'll draw arc that's done there so the next thing will come to our left portion here we have that our radius here is 55 millimeter and then it hits the circumference of my bigger circle which is 53 millimeter so add 55 plus 53 which will give me a hundred and eight millimeter so i'll take 108 millimeter from my rule One hundred eight millimeter from my rule. Then I'll place it at this radius here to place one point zero. So I'll place it at point zero here, and then I'll scribe my arc this way. And also, I'll since this radius is radius fifty five millimeter. So all I need to do is that I'll open. My compass to 55 millimeter, so I'll pick 55 millimeter from my rule this way. So I'll place it at this point here. Now cut an arc. Now project that arc upward. This point here, project this point here upward. See that it intersected this point at this place. Then, still using my 55 millimeter radius, place my pin 
that's where it's intersected here and then pardon all right so let me just move back a little bit let me explain since this is touching this externally we add 55 plus 53 which will give me 108 then i'll come to my meter ruler i'll pick 108 this way then i'll put it back at point zero then i'll bring it to this line which we've constructed here now remember that from this point to this point is radius is the radius of 55 millimeter that was what we took so come to this place here we pick 55 millimeter this way so i place it at this point here at the point of intersection then I'll draw my arc now we've done and we've gotten that so we we'll just project this line downward because just to make it an outline to any point of our choice and then we'll do the same thing to this point here now we can indicate it over here with a broken line symbol showing that the spanner was broken indicating it that it's it was broken here so join this join this thank you for watching i still remain gc engineering drawing one of the things to note is that this portion here actually the major reason you see we took 50 millimeter to our left here is because since this circle here is touching this it must it's touching it as a point horizontally to this point here and it's what it's just like a radius a cycle here like this now in every cycle here this way so there's a line over here touching it this way so you understand the radius of this to a certain point to the midpoint here you can see this way here like this is what is what we just did there thank you for watching i still remain jc engineering drawing and technical drawing thank you and do have a nice day remember to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel.